Hello to all nations, tribes, peoples, and tongues. Welcome to Storytime with Ray, where we read the King James Version of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation to take in the wisdom and understanding from the Word. Thank you for joining, and God bless. Isaiah chapter 26 In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city he layeth it low. He layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. The foot shall tread it down, even the foot of the poor and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is uprightness. Thou most upright dost weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name, and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me I will seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet Will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness? Will he deal unjustly? And will not behold the majesty of the Lord? Lord, when thy hand is lifted up, they will not see, but they shall see and be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Lord, Thou wilt ordain peace for us, for Thou also hast wrought all our works in us. O Lord our God, other lords besides Thee have had dominion over us, but by Thee only will we make mention of Thy name. They are dead, they shall not live, they are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore hast Thou visited and destroyed them, and made all their memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord. Thou hast increased the nation, thou art glorified. Thou hast removed it far unto all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near, the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pangs. So have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth. Neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth, for their iniquity, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Thank you so much for joining and listening to this beautiful chapter. I highly recommend it as a personal read. Please join me on the next chapter as we dive in deeper into the word. If you do love the word as much as I do, expresso by liking sharing the word with your loved ones, and even subscribing. And may the Lord bless you each and every day.